In this video, we're going to talk about actually creating holes and cuts using the extrude tool. So to get started, I just went ahead and I created a box by first making a sketch of a square and then extruding that into a cube. Now I'm actually going to go ahead and create a sketch on the top face of my box. So if I click on it, so it's yellow, then I can right click and hit new sketch. Now I'm going to change my view, so I'm working in the top view here, and I'm going to rename this sketch to hole, because that's what we're going to make. And I just want to put a hole in the center of my box. Quick way to find the center is if I grab my line tool, I can go ahead and actually draw a line, or two lines I should say, and make an X, so I know where the center point is. Then grab my center circle tool and create a hole that's going to be three quarters of an inch. Now I need to go ahead and trim away the extra lines that I used to find the hole. That way all that's left is the actual hole itself here. And I'm going to leave my sketch mode by pressing the green checkbox. Put myself back in a three-dimensional view and grab the extrude tool. Now when I go ahead and I click on my circle, it's going to by default think that I want to actually make a peg. If I flip this switch here, instead of being on add to remove, it's going to now flip around and start to cut into my box as though it were a hole. Now I can actually grab this slider or type in a specific number to specify the depth of my hole or drag it all the way through to actually create a hole that cuts through the entire center of my box using the extrude tool. For organizational purposes, I'm just going to rename that extrusion to hole ext to keep it nice and organized. And now I'm going to show you actually how to make a cut with a very similar uh, function here. So I'm going to click on the side of my box, create a new sketch. I'm going to call this cut. And I'm going to change to the right side view so I can kind of see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to use the arch tool to go ahead and create some type of curve and I'm going to finish and close that curve off using my line tool here so that way I have this kind of moon shape curve. I'm going to exit my sketch and grab the extrude tool again and select the curve. Now if I just change my view so you can kind of see what I'm doing here, it's trying to again make a model but I want to add remove. So now it's going to cut that curve into my box and again I can either specify a depth if I don't want to go all the way, or I can go ahead and push that all the way through and create a curve cut into the side of my box.